Hello everyone, it is Skychimp here today, and today we'll be doing something a little different. Um, I will be attempting to play some Magic the Gathering, Jewels of the Planeswalker 2013 multiplayer online with random people. Um, I've not actually played online with random people on this yet. I tried to last night and I couldn't find any games. But, uh, oh, there we go already. Against jellyfish. Um, right. Just be for simplicity, I'll just go with the uh, the uh, old Garrick's pack instinct because that's the only deck I've actually unlocked all of the cards for. Um. Ooh, bad hand. Good hand. Very good hand. Right. That card, this card, Garrick's Companion is a pretty decent card. I say decent, it's a good card. Um, right, to get one turn ahead, I'd rather do that instead. Um, and then I'll just attack for the one. He's not going to stop it. Even if he does have fog in his hand, he's not going to waste it. So yes, uh, Overmold Tracker has the one colorless, one green tap ability. Target creature you control fights another target creature. So it, it it's essentially prey upon for a tap mana effect. So he's playing green red. Uh, if I do that first... And then get another forest out. And a leatherback bell off. Or ba bell off. F4, 5 for 3. Again, another really good card. Just an attack for 1. Uh, so if he's playing green red, I'm thinking he's playing the uh, old grill deck, which is in the. Yeah. Uh, oh. well, both branching both these three damage target creature. Uh, but, 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 yeah. Okay. So, rampaging bailouts. On a land and battlefield, you make put four four. Should I? Oh, I couldn't have done that, that turn, so I'll just go with the. The uh, maybe maybe I should have done that the other way around. Actually, now I think of it. Cast that, cast the land next turn, and cast. Anyway. I can still do it. Ooh, Centaur Corsa, 3 mana, 3 3. Nothing. Nothing amazing. I imagine he probably plans to trade with, uh. I'll untap no, oh, how can it? I'll have to do that next turn. I'm actually plans to trade that off with the uh Garrick's companion. Which I will quite happily let him do. Nope. But Let's see what he's gonna do. Form he's gotta have something. He's either got a really good hand. Like a high cost hand. Or he's just saving. Pretty much which one red, one green, each block creature gets plus one, plus zero, and gains travel to the end turn. Whoa, what? Each block. Alright. Confused us for a sec there. And he also has a Rancor on his uh, Centaur Corsa. So let's bring a land in. So I'll get a 4-4 four, four beast. Uh, let's bring in a lava mo Is it lava mo? Timber mo lava. Uh, it's not looking good for you, mate. Just keep that keep that leather back there, just in case he's going to try and get through with something. Uh, 
So, uh, Timbermore Lava has, uh, whenever Timbermore Lava attacks, it gains plus one, plus one, at the, till the end of turn for each forest you control. I currently control seven forests. Ah. And he calls it. Oh, so that was me winning a game for sup <laughs> quite rather surprising. However, when people do that, when people just quit games because they're going to lose, it's just dickish. Pretty much as dickish as it gets. Okay, there's a two-headed giant match. So it is myself and Al, uh, Pack Instinct and Peacekeepers. So it's mono green and mono white versus a spades and Bromluck. No idea what they're playing. I've never actually played two-headed giant on here, so this should be um interesting. Keep this hand because I, I have a f one cast creature, which is useful. I could have had an. Maybe a nicer hand to start with, but um, I'm quite. It'll do. I'm just gonna hold both drawings as something more useful. Um, so I, I, I believe he's playing the Town Rand deck, and he may be playing the exact same. Maybe I shouldn't attack, I'm kind of... I don't really want to waste this ability. Still can't cast anything, which is a bit of a pain. Should just swing. If he's gonna... I'll swing. I'll get plus one from a uh, battle cry. Swing it for five damage, which is not bad. If we can keep that up, should be good. Should probably cast that. Actually, bit hand a little bit costly for Audrey today. Academy researchers. When Academy researchers enter battlefield, you may put an aura card from your hand on the battlefield attached to Academy researchers. Favorable winds. Creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one. So yes, this is Talran's deck. I don't think this is. Um, three three hexproof. Or I'm not sure. Go the three three hex proof for now. Yeah, at least next turn when I have mana I can combat these two. What does he have attached? An enchant creature. When an enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control. When fool's demise is put in your graveyard from the battlefield, return fool's demise to its owner. Okay. So maybe I shouldn't combat them. No, he's just gonna kill them. Skip attack. Skip attack. I didn't really expect him to trade. And I suppose he gets it back. Oh, then he's gonna cast. Straight back on top again, yeah. Okay, I can see this becoming a problem. Alright, how about Augustine's 4? Or whatever. Cool. White spells cost 1 left, blue spells cost 1 left, spells your opponent's cost 1 left. Hmm. 
that's a bit of a doozy. Well, you can't attack, so actually I think you're probably not going to. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't think you would. Oh, I think I can't really do a whole lot. I will. Um, I will save the mana so that I can kill his um, jingle, the jingle. Think single my jingle, he's uh, <laughs> can't have it. So um, he might, he's probably just gonna block. Flying at the beginning of your end step, you may gain life equal to the power of target Okay, this could become a problem. So he's going to be gaining two life quite fairly. Almost every turn, it's likely. Um. Um. Uh, reach or. He doesn't have any flying yet, so I don't need breach. Should be fine. However, now I think about it. I'll skip it. In fact, cancel that. Don't want to do that. It makes no difference, he's always just going to keep recasting. Which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Guardian Seraph, flying. So if a source and opponent controls would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. Why does that. Um, whenever it. Blah blah blah. Whenever you deal combat damage to an opponent, you may not. Journey to nowhere. Journey to nowhere ends battlefield, exile target creature, and when Journey to nowhere leaves, return to exile creature of the battlefield. Um, 4-4 four, four, Vigilance Reach. That's a good card. 5 mana. Oh, I know for a fact he can just kill it, which is kind of annoying. I don't want to attack with it if it's never going to get through. Oh, man. I'm trying to think if I... I was going to say if I attack, but he'll kill it. Because if he didn't kill it, I could then force his 1-6 flyer to battle with it. However, we are still ahead. And it does look like Al's keeping mana for a safe passage if needed. Is, that, is this just for one creature? Gain life equal to the power of target. Yep, no. Just gonna mind control my spider, which is kind of annoying. I 
wait, wait. It has that. It has that behind it. Yes, I can. I can remove it and get it back. Or I could gain a shit ton of land. Just gonna exile. Don't exile my spider. Ah. Exile the. Hmm. Should have exiled that. It's annoying as hell. Um. Everything. Uh, just gonna. Aha! If he blocks these one six, I can make them battle again. Which should kill it. Is are they choosing? Yes. <laughs> that's not. That's not what I wanted to happen. <sighs> um. No oh crap. Now they're ahead on life as well. Long game. Uh, oh, just going in. That was Talvan's invocation for two, for two, two, two fine drink creatures. I'm just fine. He also has a guardian ceremony. What is it riding? Is it riding? I don't know. It just doesn't look like it should have flying. Gain three life. Um, squadron Hawk going down for Al. So you can now look through his deck to find any as many Squadron Hawks you want, but he didn't. Remove his favorable winds. And get some. My bad, my bad. Quite sure what we should do. I feel uh, this needs to get trampled. Really does. Or oh, first strike. That'd be nice. Okay, going down for a speeds is uh, Sigil of the Empty Throne. Whenever you cast it, an enchantment spell before for a white angel creature token flying onto the bottom. This is going to become a problem. <laughs> Make 
creature battle with the 4-4 of 3-3. So... I don't know what to do. You can just block and pretty much kill it. does, I can then get rid of it by making it combat my, uh, okay, so he's not going to move, I know he's going to get the stupid thing, aha, it's really annoying that card, alright, the end of combat, get that back, blah, 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 Ability. Creature fight creature. And then Oh man. Poop. Could have done that better. Just thinking. Cause you can only do it once. Ah. Invisible stalk has come down. <sighs> Actually, I can probably deal with that pretty easily. I was gonna say that's, that's very expensive for one creature, but it's two. Uh, time has stopped, so someone's doing something quickly. But it's during end phase, so I don't think he can actually do anything. Can he can't dispel. He is going to dispel my. This isn't a problem because I can just recast. Ah, to give your upkeep for the 2 2 green wolf creature to open the battlefield. As you control each wolf tap this way, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature. A creature deals damage equal to its power divided as the controller chooses on any creature. So, again, it's kind of like target creature by target. Creature. Going for a 7 7 flyer. I feel like I should follow up with something, but he's just going to freaking block it with that thing again. taken any damage. I didn't notice this creature had an enchantment. Oh, he not played. Okay, creature gets plus one, plus one for each creature you control. Imprint, you may go. Hope you may play a copy of this. Blah, blah, blah. Exiled card. And there's a Sun Titan coming down, so this is gonna get uh, bad quick. Very quick.
Don't you hate taking one damage? Yes, I do. Uh, more things happening. Oh, snap. It has tremble. And they have no mana to counter it. So this should be good. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. 12 12 trampler, eh? So I don't really want to attack. I don't think I really do. feel the need to. But I will skip my attack, however, I will then make my uh, Primal Crooks battle with his Sun Titan. Which should help alleviate that. Target creature, fight target creature. However, the only problem is if he does have a dispel or, or unsummon, this primal crux is coming straight back to my hand. Okay, so his he's put a time warp. Oh, nasty! He's now going to be able to take two turns every turn. Whoa! I missed something. Why are all my creatures 1-1? One, one? I really have missed something. Other, other creatures are 1-1. One, one. What? Why is it just mine? Yeah, why why is it only mine became a one one? went down to 1-1 as well. That's a 1-1. One, one. That's... I do not understand. So that would still be a 1-1, one, one, but because of its equipped thing, it stays at a 7-7. Seven, seven. They would be 1-1s, one, but they get plus 1, plus 1. Same, that would be a 1-1, one, one, but it gets plus 1, plus 1. I ain't attacking, bro. Four to let through six damage, that's the only thing. Strike top each gets plus one plus zero and it's unblockable. This isn't going so well. It was going well, but uh, apparently in the late game maybe not so much. I didn't think this class is late game, it's just been a long game. Channel permanent big Pumini. He's just getting more tokens. <sighs> Oh. 
God dang it. Eight seven unblockable. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> no, I can see this uh, game going downhill for us. Quite impressive actually putting that time warp on there. I might say it's probably done many times, I've never seen it done before though. Miss that. Well, this looks like it's game. Two. Well played because I'm not a sore loser. Defeated. Well, and on that extremely long note, we will end this episode. Uh, if you want more magic, the gathering such, um, I will gladly do some more for you lovely, lovely people. So, thanks very much for watching, and this has been Skychip. Bye.